in the back of my house I have a deck made of marble floorboard as you can see behind me I haven't oiled it for four years so not looking great in this video what I'll be doing is washing the handrails balustrading as well as washing the floor and then I'll be applying some decking oil so it's just a simple short video of the process so join me in this video give you a view of what the marble timber looks like at the moment the light color area is the one where I haven't oiled it this section I just temporarily oiled it even before I cleaned it and the rest of it is not oiled steps I will also be oiling the handrail there are some steel posts on the corners I've used water soaked handbrush to uh, clean the deck and I can still see there's some grime so now I'm gonna use the Kacho high pressure water jet to give it a clean and then let it dry so that I can oil it later I'll show you what timber deck looks like now after I've used high pressure water jet to clean the reason I've had to use high pressure water jet was because previously I last used some water-based acrylic decking oil and I'm not going to use that again because it leaves a polyurethane layer on top and that's not what I want so this time I'm going to oil it with mineral decking oil you see there's some spots where the high pressure jet was so powerful that it dug little hole and what I've tried to do as a test is I filled it with exterior filling putty then I put some of the decking oil on it to see what the color looks like that's not good so what I'm gonna do is dig that out and then fill it with marble filling so the color is as close to the original marble so when you use high pressure water jet to clean just be careful with the particular nozzle you use and how close you've got the nozzle to the timber you see these that's the old water-based acrylic polyurethane that's terrible never use it again uh, this is another portion where the jet dug a shallow hole I, I fill up with exterior putty stained it and decking all doesn't look good so i'm gonna dig it out fill it with mobile filling and then sand it and it should be much better
So I'm gonna dig out this filling and then replace the filling with a marble colored filling which can handle exterior. Not that difficult. And get down a bit. This is what it looks like and uh, apparently if it dries up the instruction is to add warm water so that it softens up. Good to keep a uh, used ice cream sticks, always come in handy. It's okay if it's higher than the uh, rest of the area because you can always sand it down. I think that's good enough and um, when it's dry I'll sand it down. I've had the wood filling dry for three and a half hours now. Just show you what it looks like. I've got a boss orbital sander. I'm going to use this and uh, 80 grit sandpaper. All right, I'm going to start oiling with the uh, mineral marble deck oil. I'll start from the bottom of the steps. Well, I've finished oiling it, let it dry now. That's one coat of mineral deck oil. It's dry, I'm gonna do a second coat. That's the second coat completed. We'll see how it looks when it dries. The deck is still drying from the uh, oil. Because this mineral oil and it's been cool days, it takes a while to dry. But um, this is what it looks like. And those were the spots where I put some marble colored putty. I all the gate. And the balustrading.
There's the tweet at Pine Steps. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more and to help the channel grow. Thank you so much.